Measuring progress to the SDGs is now enshrined in a so-called indicator framework that has been agreed upon and that is built of course on the uh, 17 goals and 169 objectives. We also had a, a progress report on the work that the the committees contributing to the sustainable development goals, in particular the indicators, and, and looking at the indicators of the 17 goals through a geospatial lens, and we had an update report on that. And the committee overwhelmingly supported not only progressing that work, um, but doing it with a sense of urgency so that the, the work and the contribution of geospatial, the integration with herbs ob observations, the integration with statistics, and being able to measure and monitor over period, over long time periods with data that's not only local but also global. So that will be a very positive outcome. What is even more exciting, we have created now so-called SDG data hubs that at the country level allow us to not only represent information in map format but really understand the information at a more disaggregated local level by drilling down and making use of the richness of the disaggregated information that is available at countries. Once it is fully integrated with the geospatial dimension, it is possible to create these very powerful monitoring and analytical tools looking at the situation in the economic, social and environmental dimension and understanding where progress is made, whether progress is made, which is of course unimportant uh, in order to guide us for our future policy decisions uh, in order to keep on track for meeting these ambitious sustainable development goals by 2030.